Hey guys, Jim here, and bringing you part of my Unlocking the Keyword Key and Gong series. Um, I am here with my opponent, Joel. Uh, do you want to introduce yourself? Hey everyone, uh, I'm Joel. Been playing Arcanists for a long time um, and decided to bring Colette so we have uh, the Tea House Brawl, evidently. Yes. Um, the pool and. Uh, scheme selections and our all that fun stuff will be in the description. Uh, you can see my scheme selections right now on the screen. You cannot see my opponents because if I could see them, that would be cheating. So I'm just going to move these to the side. We flipped for attacker. I was uh, selected as attacker, and my opponent has elected to have me deploy these for folk. I'm in the bottom left corner. He's in the top right. Um, while I deploy my crew, would you like to go over yours? Yeah, sure. Um, so I took uh, Colette as my leader, and she comes with her entourage of three mechanical doves. Um, I then took two Korafi, the mechanical rider, a soulstone miner with magical training, uh, Carlos Vasquez, and a mecharachnid. That is a lot of nice mechanical beef. Um, and for me, I have finished deploying my first chunk. I've got Yoko, I have Chio, Bill, Hinamatsu, a Charm Order, a Kunoichi, and two Bunraku. Like a plan. Okay, so I guess I best be dropping my crew then, huh? Yeah. Okay. It is corner deployment. Mm -hmm. uh, it's corner deployment, right? It is. So you say you've been playing for a little bit. How long have you played uh, Arcanists? So I started um, about the time second edition was released. Oh, cool. Uh, maybe a couple, maybe a year or two after that. Uh, and I picked up Arcanists because I like magic and I like big stompy robots. And if you play Arcanists, you get to uh, get both. I mm -hmm. started with uh, Mi Fang and Ramos. Mm -hmm. Um Ramos is now in jail, um, and Mifeng was trashed here in second ed. <laughs> <laughs> so the the transition to third ed was was sort of a relief and a uh, also a gut punch at the same time because I do kind of miss uh, playing a mad scientist. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, you know, other than that, I just really like the faction. That's in fair. general. And um, I think I've played every master at least once in second and third ed 
with the exception of Marcus and Ironside. Hmm. Any particular reason for that? Um, Marcus, I just never really liked his play style in... In second ed, he's really kind of upgrade heavy, and in or in second, third ed, he's very upgrade heavy. In second ed, he was a very strange master. He was like kind of an obey master, kind of not. Yeah, I remember uh, him as a super solo. Like you just tool him up, and he'd go and do whatever he wanted, and his crew was just like there too. Yeah, it's been a long time mm-hmm. since. Uh, since I looked at his second ed card, I wanted to give him a try in third ed. I have the models and I painted um, a lot of them up. Um, I have the old uh, first ed metal Marcus that I picked up at a game shop at one point. Um, I really like the mm-hmm. the first ed sculpt of Marcus a lot more than the second ed. Uh, then Ironsides, I have the models, just never painted them and brought them out. Hmm. Fair enough. She seems very niche in this pool, or in this uh, season of Gaining Grounds. Yeah, um, what's his name from Indiana or Iowa? Roman, I think it is. He mm-hmm. he swears by Ironsides, but I, I've never quite seen it. Okay, I'm set up. All right. Well, i got to put the rest of my friends down, so we're going to put uh, Hinamatsu here. And if anyone can hear that, that's just Hopper in the background making his displeasure known that I am not giving him tummy rubs. Um, And we're going to go ahead and have, I think, Rock 2 over here. So that'll be my deployment. Get rid of these garish uh, deployment zones. And draw our hands and best of luck to you sir yeah best of luck to you too and so i uh just as a reminder because of yoko you have a, a six hand, six card hand man words are hard today <laughs> yeah because plus one for magical training and mm-hmm. minus one from yoko's informant or whatever it's called yeah I will be electing not to stone for cards. Uh, I will not stone either. Okay. So, uh, let us go ahead and initiative flip. Best of luck to you. Good luck to you too, Jim. Well, I start with the Black Joker, and uh, that seems like a thing to do. I guess I start with a three. Um, So I will let you activate first. Oh, well, thank you. I'm a nice guy sometimes. I have eight models. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten models. I will gain two pass tokens. And you know, uh, do you have any poison in your crew? I do not. I will use poison to keep track of the mech riders' fate tokens. Then seems good. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Bunraku two activate mm-hmm. to start the day. Uh, Bunraku two is going to take a walk. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is going to take a damage, gain a focus, and move three from Risky Maneuver. Three. And is going to use Lure on my Charm Warder, who will relent. Uh, It is not hitting the target number. Uh, Stat five needs a 12, so I need a seven. Uh, but I will cheat it in, and I will elect not to declare the Rip and Tear trigger. So the Charm Order is going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that has been Raku 2. Okay. Cool. Um, ba, ba, ba. We'll go with this mechanical dove here. I think the dove is... Dove is move seven. Don't mind Hopper, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I think the Dove's gonna focus or fly there. Um, take a f- focus if I can find the right button. Mm-hmm. And that'll do it for the Dove. Alrighty. 
Uh, you know what? We'll go ahead and spend a pass token here. Okay. Um, I will go with another dove. This dove. And he will also focus. All right. It's off for the dove. I will spend one more pass token. Okay. Um. I will activate another pass token. I'm sorry. Activate another dove. What? And the dove is going to fly to there, and it's going to focus. Okay. That's all for the dove. I guess I have to activate models again now. Um, well, what we're going to do is I am going to have the Boonraku holding Chio, or next to Chio. It's going to take a walk. Six is going to take a pip of damage, gain a focus from Risky Maneuver, and is going to lure Yoko, who will relent. It's not currently going off. I would cheat for it to go off and not declare the trigger. And she's going to go one, two, three, four, five. And that's Bunraku done. Okay. Uh, let's go with the Soulstone Miner. So he will gain stunned to minus Soulstone. Uh, he will then focus, uh, and then he will attempt to go to ground. Mm -hmm. um, that attempt fails. Oh boy. Um, this is going to be a feels bad moment here, but I am going to cheat in that 12 for him to go to ground. Ooh. And that does it for the miner. If that doesn't talk about how your hand looks, I don't know what does. <laughs> All righty. Well, with that understanding in place, <laughs> we are going to have... Chio activate, and she is just going to go one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, four and a half, five, and just hang out there. Um, no, she'll hang out there. So if weird duet things happen, you don't have a easy way to punch her. Weird duet things happening. Yes. That's what happens. Mm -hmm. that's okay. Right. Um. So I gotta look at the cards for these core feet. Okay, this core fee is gonna go. Um, it is gonna take a nimble walk. Mm -hmm. It's gonna go. One, two, three, four, five to there. Mm -hmm. Um. Then it's going to focus. Ah, uh, so that's a nimble plus a walk. Or right, that's a nimble walk and a focus, and then he's going to take another walk. She's going to take another walk to right there. I should still have line of sight. Yeah, we'll go right there. That's off of the core fee. All righty. We are going to activate the Kunoichi, and she is going to tools for the job, get this 10 back. And we're going to discard this four. 
So she now has masks on all of her actions for the rest of the turn. She's going to shuriken Hinamatsu, who will relent. Goes off. I'll declare the mask trigger Galvanize. Three cards pick the worst. She'll take one damage. The Kunoichi will move three. And then uh, resolve her Galvanize trigger and give Bill Algren a focus. She'll shoot Hinamatsu again. Hinamatsu will relent again. It'll go off again. I'll declare Galvanize again. That's another one damage to Hinamatsu. Boop. Another three inch push. And we're just going to go up here next to this, uh, this wood, a wall. And we'll give Yoko a focus. Kunoichi will be done. So I think we will go with the second Korofi. Mm -hmm. The second Korofi is going to do a focus. Um, it is then going to attempt to find its dance partner. Mm -hmm. So that's going to go with the trigger to give the target focused one. So she's going to place base there. Mm -hmm. Focus. That's the wrong one. Uh, then they are going to dance together to form a duet. Mm-hmm. Duet will be focus three, actually. And that's all for the core of P. Mm -hmm. And because it was the second time, it doesn't get any more activations unless you mechanical rider shenanigans, correct? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Well... Um, I will have a Bill go. Bill is going to stoically nod at Hinamatsu. I know everyone, stoic nod being used on a henchman. The world is ending. <laughs> It'll go off. She'll heal back to full. Bill is then going to take a walk. Two, three, four, and five. And he is done. So you have left Hinamatsu and Yoku, right? And a charm warder. And the charm warder, okay. Should I? Yeah. Uh, let's go with the arachnid. Mm -hmm. I think the arachnid is probably just going to walk, walk. Yep. So he's unimpeded, so he doesn't care about the water for mm -hmm. some reason. He has too many legs to care. Two. <laughs> Three, four, five. It's gonna go two, four. Yeah, he's good there. Um, that'll do it for the Mecharachnid. Cool. Uh, I think we'll have Mr. Charm Warder go. When Charm Warder activates, he gains a chi. He's gonna take a walk. One, two, three, four, and five. He is going to concentrate. And he's going to go ahead and try for his bonus action of Chaos Theory. Does not go off. That's okay. Charm Border's done. Okay. Uh, we will go with Carlos Vasquez. The great Carlos Vasquez. The great Carlos Vasquez. He will attempt the Dance of Flame. The Dance of Flame does not succeed. Oh. So I, I will not shoot that. <laughs> so then Carlos is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then he's going to go another. Uh, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to go to there. And that's all for Carlos. Okay. I am going to have a Hinamatsu go. She's going to be a sneaky gal. And she is going to declare a charge. She has rush, so she gets plus two inches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boop. To there. And she is going to concentrate. And that's her. All right, cool. Uh Okay. Um, I will go with the Mech Rider next. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the Mech Rider is going to ride with me, targeting Colette. Mm -hmm. uh, TNs are not my thing this turn. So I am going to, to throw in a 13 to cheat it. Oh, boy. So the mech rider is likewise unimpeded, so she's going to push five. One, two, three, four, five to there. Um, and then she's going to have Colette come along with her. Mm -hmm. Put put Colette right there. Mm -hmm. um, okay, then the mech rider will take a walk of seven, so she's going to go two, three, four... Five, I think right there is probably pretty good. That seems pretty good. And that's it? Uh, I'm still thinking. Hmm. Okay, and then the mech rider will focus. Okay. And that's all for the mech rider. All right. Uh, I guess I have to go with Yoko. So she is going to go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. She is going to. Go ahead and target the Corifi duet with her. Oh, wait, that's right. Yeah. We'll go one more walk. To there. So you're just within six. Gonna sconch. I want to be truly just within six. Because <laughs> I'm that kind of guy. Um, and we're going to try our bonus action on you of uh, backroom dealings. I am going to stone for a crow. It's against your willpower. Um, I think I have an 18, mm -hmm. maybe? I also have an 18. Uh, you have an 18 as, as well? Mm -hmm. Um, so I will not cheat that. Okay. I will declare shady dealings. So first, reveal your control hand to me, please. Okay. Uh, let's see, what's the best way to do this? Like that, right? Oh, boy. That's wonderful. Uh, now go ahead and flip them back over. You can just highlight all of them, right-click, flip. Shady Dealing says, for each of your unrevealed schemes, your opponent's unrevealed schemes, 
the target must discard a random card. So I am looking away. You shuffle those cards around a bit, and then I'll randomly pick two of them for you to discard. I think pretty shuffled there. If we could have yep. the second and fourth from the left. Second and fourth from the left, so this one? Yes. That one and that one. All right. Right. You got it. Now, you did just discard cards within six of Yoko, so for each card you discard, I draw a card. And that's Yoko, and I am done. The turn is yours. That's all you got, huh? Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, so let's go with Colette. Um, she's going to walk one, two... Three, four, five, six to there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I can get there. Oops, that's not quite what I wanted. Oh, yeah. Uh, then Colette is going to take a walk to um, two, three, four mm -hmm. to there. Uh, then we will attempt to presto change Yuko into a dove. Okay, I have Serene Countenance. So you'll be on a negative oh, twist to this. Oh, I'm on a negative for that. Um, I will spend a soul stone to give myself a positive. And I will spend a focus. Okay. Uh, so I currently have a 14 against your willpower. And I currently have a 19. Um, so I'm going to tie you at 19. Yes, you will. Okay. Um, so then... Yuko becomes a scheme marker. This dove, or then no, then Yuko goes here, mm -hmm. and then the dove goes here. Mm -hmm. All right. Three yes, inches indeed. of Yuko. Um, and then Colette will hit Yuko with the sword trick. All right, you are still um, on a negative. Yep. So flip two. Uh, I've got a something. Uh, I have a 14. You have less than a 14. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, so that does it for Colette. Okay, well, that's the turn. Go ahead and plop that down. Move the turn marker. Clear moved. And uh, let's discard, reshuffle, and discard, and all that fun stuff. Get rid of that. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. Alrighty. Hmm. I am actually going to soul stone for cards. You know, I think I might do the same. I'll get rid of that one. I'll get rid of that one. And don't forget, you have a hand size of six. There we go. Yeah, I should be at six. This card stacking gets to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm at six. Cool. Uh, right. So we should increment. Oh, you did increment the turn number. Um, We should be the same on models, so you should get two pass tokens. After initiative is flipped, though. Ah, uh, that's correct. Um, and I get two more fate tokens. Mm -hmm. So flip initiative. Yes, indeed. I have a two. I have a ten. Um, I will not cheat. All right. I will go with Yoko. Um, Yoko is going to target the Corifi duet with backroom dealings, spending a stone for a crow. I have a ten against your willpower. I have a fifteen or a fourteen. Yeah, I got a 15. 
I will go to a 19. Um, I will not cheat that. Mm -hmm. I'll declare shady dealings. So go ahead and reveal your hand. Sure. We're going to rapidly see why I decided to stone for cards. Oh, boy. Well, let me help you get some of those out of there. Um, <laughs> go ahead and flip them back down. Shuffle it around. I'm looking elsewhere. And I will have you randomly discard two cards. Okay, I think I'm pretty pretty well random. All right. Can we, from the left-hand side, get rid of the third and fifth card? Third, one, two, three. Card uh, stacking one, two, strikes three. again. And the fifth, you said? Yes. Okay, there you go. All right, I draw two cards because you discarded two cards. Two, five, six. I'll put that there. I'll discard that. Uh, next, Yoko is going to target the Korifi duet with Blackmail. This is against okay. your willpower. And I will stone for a mask. I am Ooh. sitting at a 14. I am also at a 14 with the mask. Um, um. So what this does, if you'd like the s summary version... I gain two pass tokens. You can choose to discard a card to prevent me from gaining a pass token. The trigger says if you discard one or fewer cards, I obey the Corifi duet. Gotcha. Well, I'm going to let that fail. Okay. Um, and I am just going to discard two cards. Seems good. Because... <laughs> When your hands are weeks. I draw two cards. I'll get rid of that. I'll get rid of that. And then I am going to. I think I am going to. Target the Corifi duet once again. Uh, this will be Riddles in the Dark. This is uh, against your willpower stat 6. This gives you distracted based on the difference in our hand sizes. Okay. I am at a 12. I am at an 18. 18 to 12, you say. Well, I'm not going to cheat that. I will declare the Information Network trigger to draw a card. Uh, and you gain distracted too. There you go. Cool. Um, and I will go ahead and get rid of. Uh, I'll get rid of this. And lastly, she is going to target the mechanical dove with blackmail. She will spend a pass token for leverage to be on a straight flip. Okay. I have a 17 against the Dove's willpower. I have much less than a 17, and I will not cheat. I will declare we own you. So once again, either discard two cards or I obey your Dove. Uh, I think I'm just going to let you obey the Dove. Okay, so I will gain two pass tokens. And your Dove is going to go ahead and... I think charge it would declare charge action they're what move six they're move seven seven and let's see here their defense four so this is going to go It's going to go and right here. And it's going to attack your other mechanical dove, spending your focus. <laughs> dove on dove on dove. Dove on dove violence. 
I am actually going to spend the focus on the other dove. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so my dove is at a 10. Mm -hmm. I am at a 12 with this dove. 12 with this dove. Uh, and you're going to get the overheat trigger. Yeah. It's going to be a no bueno. Uh, so I think I'm going to go to a 14. A uh, 14? Well, I will meet you at a 14. Declare built to okay. overheat. Um, doing three cards. Oh, sorry. Undo two cards because of focus. Moderate two damage to your mechanical okay. dove. And then I will do a ping of damage onto the brass arachnid. Um, now, according to Demise Expendable, after this model's killed, its controller draws a card. I think because I am controlling this action. Um, actually, no, this that would be done as a resolution of the action, so you draw the card. Okay. I think. If I'm wrong, tell me in the comments below. <laughs> so they actually don't drop markers when oh. they die. They're puny. They are puny. All and right. then I will pick up two cards. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, well, that's going to be Yoko's turn. Uh, I just need to check something quickly. Mm -hmm. I think. Okay, um, I am going to go with this dove. Mm -hmm. So, dove is going to fly back here. Mm -hmm. uh, then he's going to assist the duet to lower its distracted. Mm -hmm. So he lowers the duet's distracted by two. Yes, indeed. And I think that's all for the dove. Alrighty. Let's see here. I think... Just out. Uh, well, I guess I will have my uh, fun time Bunraku go. He is going to take a pip of damage, gain a focus, and go one, two, three. He is going to Take a walk. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You will spend a focus on Lore on Hinamatsu. She will relent. It goes off. So she's going to go. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Um, and that is all the Bunraku can do. Okay, sounds like a plan. Uh, huh, okay, so that Bunraku's gone. Dove's gone. Well, I think... Do I go with Colette or do I go with Duet? Yeah, I think it's time we go with the Duet. Um, you, and the Duet. Before you do, when you activate, I look at the top card of your deck and I choose to put that on the bottom of your deck due to Yoko's um, Informant's aura. Seems pretty good. Um, and I think the duet is just going to swing at Yoku. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll bring it up. And I will uh, lower the focus by one. All right. I will spend a pass token for leverage. 
Okay. I'm at a 15. I am currently at a 7. Um, I will go to a 15 as well. Um, and I will declare the execute trigger. Um, so mm -hmm. 15 on 15 is going to be flip 3, take the lowest, right? Uh, yes, but you focused, so it's 2, oh, take the lowest. Flip 2, yep. Uh, that'll be a moderate of, I believe, 4 damage. Yes, and discard a card or a stone. Ah, uh, yes, for execute. Uh, well, I will spend a stone for damage prevention. I prevent 1, so I take 3. And I will discard this card, not that card. That card. Alright, good enough. Mm -hmm. Um, Then the duet will... Yeah, then the duet will hit you again. Alright, I will leverage for positive. And another focus. Q. I have uh, a I'm at a 10. I'm at a 10 as well. Um, I will not cheat. Okay. Um, I actually won't cheat that either, and I will declare the critical strike trigger. Sure. So it'll be, er, uh, actually, no, we're going to play it smart. I will cheat to a, an 11 mm. with critical strike. So then I'm on a straight flip to damage. Yes. Take severe of five plus one is six. I will spend a soul stone to prevent three. So I take three. Um, and the Corfi's last trick will be to dance apart. Mm -hmm. So we will dance one there. Dance one there. Um, this one will take on the activation. And this one will take on the focus. And that's all for the duet. All right. And let's just see something. We're going to have Hina Matsu go. Which one? Uh, I'm sorry, there's only one quarry feed oh, on there. Oh, I've took one off. Irk. So you said one has focus, one has the activated. Which one's the activated yep. one? The one, uh, the darker one. Okay, so the the one has focus has not activated. Yeah, that's correct. All right, uh, Hinamatsu time. One, two, three. She just wants to get herself a nice uh, charge lane. Four, five, and six. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm having some technical difficulties here, uh, viewers at home. Good old vassal. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. I will charge you. Uh, Hinamatsu is going to spend focus on this attack. Okay. And who's she attacking? Cory Fee. Uh, Cory Fee? All right. I have built-in positive and a focus, so three cards pick the lowest. Ugh. That's no fun. Mm -hmm. So you'll be at 19. Sure will. And I am going to be at a mighty not 19. Mm -hmm. I am at a mighty 8. Um, I will let that one go. Okay, you're at eight, you say? Yep. Well, I am going to cheat to a 17 and declare armor piercing. Okay. So it should be a straight flip for damage. Because, oh, no, it's positive twist to damage because of focus and being greater than five difference. Yep. Hey, Red Joker, Ooh. that'll be five damage. Uh, so that's enough to kill the Korofi. Uh, so that she's going to drop a scrap marker. Oh, that's right. She turns into a mannequin. Derp. Forgot about that. Mm -hmm. And let's see. Um, we are going to go ahead 
and we will discard a card to flurry and we will go ahead and flurry on to Well, if we flurry on to Colette, she might just bury. She might. Hmm. And when she unburies, she does terrible things. Yeah, she hands out distracted. And she does have serene continence, although I guess you have the built-in positive for that. Mm hmm You know what? I actually think I will not... I will take that back if that's okay. I will not yep. be uh, flurrying this turn. And um, mostly because Mannequin's only going to give me a single point for the strategy, which is pants. Um, what I will do is I will use her bonus action, Aggressive Stance, needing a six. Black Joker. All right. Uh, that is a Hinamatsu done. Uh, I think we... Better go with the Mech Rider next. So. Or actually, no, we will go with the Mannequin. Mm -hmm. That is on one health. I will look at the top card of your deck, and you can keep it. Okay. Let's um, see. Doesn't it have a focus? Because it had a focus as a. Yes, it does. Yeah. Uh, what does a mannequin do? Um, <laughs> that is a wonderful question. Mm, that's not going to do a whole lot. That won't do a whole lot. Sorry, I haven't used mannequins like ever. <laughs> that is a okay. Um, um, actually, we're not going to go with the mannequin. We're going to. Mm go with the mech rider as i originally thought all right you're so. still within six so my looking at the top card of your deck wasn't technically cheating good to know good to know um let's see so do that probably doesn't make any difference okay yeah so i think the mech rider We'll first try to... Actually, is that arachnid within two inches? It might be. It is within two inches, but I actually think I like that arachnid where he's at. Okay, so the mech rider will just attempt to ride with me. Mm -hmm. um, that doesn't go, so I'm going to cheat in the seven to make it go. So he's going to push five inches in any direction. Two, three, four, five to there. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and she is probably not within an inch of Yuko. Not quite. Uh, all right, that's fine. It's okay. Um, then she is gonna charge Yuko. It's right there. Mm -hmm. Um, and I will spend uh, the focus. Can okay. You to I will spend a point of. Uh, a pass token for leverage. Okay. Well, I'm looking at a 17, I think. Yep, Ooh, 17. 17. I'm currently looking at not a 17, so I will cheat to an 18. You'll cheat to an 18? Um, I am actually going to go ahead and cheat to a 19. Okay. Let's think. Do I want to blow any tokens here? Um... I'm going to use. I'll use two tokens to add. Oops. I'll use two tokens to add um two uh, tomes to this. Okay. Um. So first, it's going to be. How do I lower poison? Okay. So first, it's going to be damage. So I'm beating you by one, right? You're beating me by one, and you focused. So you're on a straight. So it's going to be. Uh, I am on a straight. Yep. Uh, take week of two. 
I will spend a soul stone to prevent. And that's my last soul stone. I prevent it. Okay. Uh, then I pick up two cards from Arcane Ritual. Mm hmm all right. Uh, then she's got one EP left, so she'll just take another strike on Yuko. All right. Um, and serene continence means I'm on a negative, right? Yes, indeed. Uh, so that would be a ten. Uh, that is a higher than a ten. Okay. Um, and that does it for the rider. Okay. Well, um, I think we'll go with the Kunoichi. She is going to tools for the job and grab that ram and she's going to discard that nine of masks so she has masks built on everything and she is going to go um, one uh, one two three four and five and You know what? I think she is going to go. How far can Carlos push and charge in one turn by himself? So his Dance of Flame is, I think, five inches? Okay, so he's... Check. So he's, is he move six? Yeah, he's moved six, and his Dance of Flame, which is a bonus action, lets him move five inches. Okay, so you can get wherever you really want to. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Um, well, I think I will have the Kunoichi just take another uh, walk. One, two, three, four, and five. Poke her head out here. She's not doing much else anyway, so she's done. It's the second I'm thinking here. So you have the Charm Warden, the Bunkeroo, and Bill to go, right? And Chio. And Chio. Okay. Um. Yeah, so I think I need to go with Colette here. All right. Uh, you are, I think, in range. I, I sh unless you place the mannequin specifically to block line of sight from... Uh, I did not. Um, I don't think I can block line of sight with a mannequin because it's a 30 mil base. Okay. Well, um, let me. Uh... Oh, no. <laughs> so many Yukos. Let me look at the top card of your deck. You know what? You can keep that. Okay. Um, looks like I do have two inches to Yuko. Um, but then I'd have to. So, uh, um, okay, um, let's hit. Hinamatsu with a distracting illusion. Ooh. Ooh. I have a 13 against your willpower. I have an 18. Okay, uh, so that is going to fail. Um, should we just do it again? Yeah, we'll just do it again. I have a 16. I have a 12. You can have it. Okay, um, so I am not going to cheat that, so you get Stunned and distracted one. Stunned and distracted. Okay. Uh, and then Colette is going to focus. Shift Q. Um, and then she's going to focus hit Yuko. Okay. 
I'm on flip one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This against defense or willpower? Defense. Ah, six. Ah, uh, womp womp. That no, happens. And I think that's everything for Colette. Okay. Uh, well, I think what we're going to do is... Is Colette in base with Hinamatsu, or is she just out of base contact with Hinamatsu? She's out of base contact, unless you meant to put him in base contact. I did not. So Chia will activate. She'll go one, two, three, four. Let's undo that, because that's less accurate. She'll go one. Okay. Come on, Chia. One and a half. Two. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, four, five. four and a half, five. So she should have line of sight to your mannequin through that little gap between Hinamatsu and Colette. Yep. Um, we're going to try and use her bonus action of misinformation, stat four against willpower. I have a five. I have a seventeen. You know, I don't. You're not that misinformed. You know what's up. <laughs> Chio's done. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's go with the mannequin. Um. I will look at the top card of your deck, and send that to the bottom. Gotcha. Right to the shadow realm. <laughs> right to the shadow realm. Um. The mannequin will hit Hinamatsu with a dazzling flourish. Okay. I well, have an 18. Yes, you do. I have an 11. So you will gain distracted, and I'll declare beautiful clothes for... Uh, or you'll gain slow, and I'll declare beautiful clothes for another point of distracted. There we go. Okay. Poor Hinamatsu. She's having a bad time of it. She is. Um, then I think actually the mannequin will attempt to disengage. Um, I will let Hinamatsu try and keep you here. I'm on uh, negatives. Does, does that burn a distracted? It sure does. Yeah, I thought so. I got a 13. All right, I'm on a straight flip because I have paired blades. I am currently on a... Um, 11. Um, I will not cheat. Then Mannequin is going to push away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to there. That's mm -hmm. off of the Mannequin. Okay. Um, well, uh, I think it's going to be bill time. Bill is just going to go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, you have no one left to activate over here, right? Uh, no. You have Mechorachnid and Carlos Vasquez. That's all, yep. All right, well, I'll try. I'll, I'll throw Hail Mary. I'll challenge your mechanical dove. Okay. Uh, and that's a 16. Uh, looks like I have a 6. Because right. targets willpower, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Or it's, um, it's a nine. <laughs> you're challenged. Um, I didn't get the. I was fishing for the tome trigger to give him focus. So. Gotcha. Um. Anyway, uh, that's Bill. I have Charm Warder and Bunraku left. Charm Warden and the Bunraku. Okay. Um. Don't think. Get it gonna do thing what's the charge lane hotkey alt c and then you hit it again to increase the size of the lane and then so, alt v lets you fine tune it can't get in that way um all right uh let's go with the great carlos vasquez yes Carlos will attempt the dance of flame. That is the dance of flame. He dance. The dance of his people. 
five to there. Picks up a point of burning for his trouble. Oh, let's but see. He don't care. He doesn't care about the first point, no. It's like, uh, do I have six inches to that Konuichi? I don't think so. I'll but. zoom in and double check. Uh, it looks like you're in, just by All the right. hair of your chinny chin chin. I right, gotcha. Um, so then I will breathe fire on that Kunoichi. Okay. So, I have a fifteen against your defense. I have a nine. So you'll be on a straight flip. Okay. Uh, that'll be weak of two and burning one. She takes two and burning one. Uh, and then I'll just do it again. Okay. I'm at a 13 against your defense. I am going to go to a 16. 16, you say? Okay, we'll let that fail. And that'll be all for the great Carlos Vasquez. Yes. Um, let's see here. Mannequin are worth a single point, yeah? Yep. Okay. Well, I think what we're going to do is have, hmm, Scooby-Dooby-Doo, where are you? I think I will have my Bunraku go. It will take a damage and gain a focus to risky maneuver to there. Carlos has butterfly jump. He does. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to declare a charge to there. And we're going to try and curse stab Carlos Vasquez with a focus. Bunraku are stat five with their defense uh, with their blade. That is a seventeen. I have a fourteen. Um, let me check what this does. Uh, it's two, three, four, and I have two triggers that I'm not showing. Three, four, and nothing else. That's all that. Uh, so go ahead. Straight flip because of focus, and weak of two. Two. Um, I will soul stone to prevent. One damage, so I take one. All right. And then I butterfly jump. Uh, Charm Warden hasn't gone yet, right? Correct. Gone yet. So let's butterfly jump. One, two, three to there. Mm -hmm. OK, uh, that's all Bunraku's going to do. Okay, uh, I think I'm down to the arachnid mm -hmm. at this point. Um, let's see, the Mandraku's got four health left. And armor one. And armor one, but my arachnid's precise, so he ignores armor. Mm, uh, that's fair. So, focus charge or just charge? He's defense five? He is. Um, with a defensive trigger built in where if I beat you, I become defense 7 for the rest of the activation. Gotcha. Uh, we are going to focus charge in that case. Mm -hmm. He's got a 1 inch engagement. 1 inch. Two, go. 2, 3, 4 to there. Okay, and then I'll tack you with my focus. I will lower I have my a focus. I have a 13, or a 12, I'm sorry. I have a 17. 17, you say? Mm-hmm. And okay. I will be um, declaring my built-in trigger. Okay. Uh, I'm going to tie you at 17. Okay. Uh, so it's going to be flip two. Uh, take moderate to three, ignoring armor. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. And that's all for the arachnid. All right, so it's just my last activation, I think. I think you're right. Charm Warder will activate and gain a chi. 
The charm order is going to take a walk. One, two, three, four. And I think we're going to go ahead and first try my first do a charge. We'll go ahead and charge the Mech Arachnid. There we go. Chi Blade. And I will be spending my focus on this attack. And I will spend one Chi on, uh, as a cost to declaring the action. So I would ignore one of the negatives on the damage flip. Okay. Here we go. I'm at a 16. I am at a 15 currently. Um, I will elect to spend my last chi to increase my dual total by two before cheating. So I'm now at 17. Uh, okay, I won't cheat that. I will declare inner peace which will let me take the Concentrate action, and I will use that to gain a G. Uh, but first, I focused, I beat you by one, so I'll be on a single negative. Goes to focus is a straight flip. Um, I spent a Chi token, so I ignore one negative, so I'm on a positive twist to damage. Okay. Severe of four. Takes two. And then I will use my bonus action, Chaos Theory, needing a six. Uh, I will lo lower my chi um, to pass the test. Uh, pulse 5. So Carlos and the Mechorachnid. Um, let me take a look at your discard pile here real quick. Um, I think... I'm going to go ahead and declare rams. So go ahead and flip two cards for each one of them. For each ram you flip, you take two damage. Okay. Um. So we'll do the Mechorachnid first. He's good. And then we'll do Carlos. Carlos takes a point. Because mm -hmm. his fire counts as armor? Oh, it's two damage. Yeah. Ah. Um. I will soulstone that, actually. Oh, and I forgot I still have the Soulstone Miner. <laughs> he hasn't oh, gone yet. Yeah. Uh, so I prevent uh, everything from Carlos. All right. Well, I am no more activations. Go ahead with your Miner. Okay. Um. Oh, boy. What does the Miner want to do? Well, I think the Miner sort of has... I totally forgot about the Soulstone Miner. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. Could do. Okay, so the Miner is gonna uh, gain stun some. Or what? Did your bunker get its defensive trigger? Um. Well, it doesn't say after resolving, so it has to be after succeeding. So okay. no, Bunraku did okay. not get it off. Okay, so the Miner will uh, take a point for stunned. Mm -hmm. uh, then he'll pop up. Not engaging the charm war will pop up right there mm -hmm. um and then i'll take a swing at the bunkeroo and i'll spend my focus all right Thank you. so i got a 12 uh i do not i have a seven uh so that'll be straight flip sure will oh wait no it's a positive because you focused ah you're right uh, let's take another card. Uh, let's take moderate of three. Blap dead. Your miner will um, gain two bounty tokens. Yes, you will. Um, do I have anything to mark bounty tokens? Here you go. Uh, Here's a little uh, upgrade that says bounty in it. Sure. Uh, let's see. Although you'll you'll get the strategy point this turn, so you might as well. 
uh, not. Ah, okay. It's just going to wipe off the miner. I gotcha. Yeah, that's all for me. All right. Well, at the end of the turn, you will score the strategy. I will not. Do you reveal any schemes? Uh, I will not. All right. I don't think I do either. I will take a point of damage on the Kunoichi for burning. Um, and then Carlos will hand... I think he's got six inches on this aura. Yep, so Carlos will give uh, the Charm Warden a point of distracted. Okay. And I don't reveal any other schemes. So we go into turn three. Um, I'm going to start with you. I'm going to pause the recording real quick. Sure. And we're back. Uh, top of turn three. Things are looking a little dicey for the Kian Gong today. Star Theater is the, the optimum venue. <laughs> sure seems to be. Um, Let's reshuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And I will keep that hand, mostly because I cannot stone it. I'll keep my hand too. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, did you reveal any schemes at the end of the last turn? I did not. Okay. All right, so um, let us do initiative. I have a seven. I have a 12. Uh, I am not going to cheat that. Okay. Um, I think what we're going to do is... It is tempting to go for that with the Kunoichi. Oh, first let's do pass tokens. I have Chio on your side of the board. She automatically makes me two pass tokens at the start of the turn because of subterfuge. Uh, I'm sorry, inconspicuous. That's the ability. Secondly, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven models to your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight models. I will gain a third pass token. Um, so I think it would be super keen if. Hmm. I will be going first. Question is, do I want to try and snag that 10 into my hand with the Kunoichi and then try and do stuff? What's the defense of your spoder? Our spoder? My spider? Mm -hmm. He is defense five? Yep, defense five. Defense 5. Kunoichi, though, is not a squishy, uh, not a durable fella. Lady. Lady fella. <laughs> um, so that is something to consider. You know, I think I am going to go with Yoko first. Seems reasonable. And Yoko is going to... Oh, this guy gets uh, three tokens. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Monkey uh, doves have willpower of three. So Yoko is going to target the mechanical dove with um, her bonus action, backroom dealings. And I currently have a 19. And I currently have a 12. I will not cheat it. I am going to cheat to a 17 and declare shady dealings. So go ahead and show me your hand, please. Okay. So we'll flip them around. I'll look away.
And then you want me to shuffle them up? Yeah. Just sh- give them a good shuffle. Good shuffle up, I guess. Sorry about that. Oh, you're fine. All right. I'd say they're shuffled. Um, you have six there. I am going to go ahead. Let's get rid of the... From the left. It's always going to be from the left. Mm-hmm. We'll get rid of the second and the sixth. Second and the sixth. Okay. Cool. I will draw two cards. And I will add this to my hand, and I'll discard that one. Uh, Yoko is going to go ahead and she is going to target the hmm You know, we're going to target the mechanical dove with blackmail. Against your willpower. Sure. I have a nine. I currently have a eleven. Uh, I will not cheat. I will cheat and declare we own you. Okay, so I think I'll let that go. I won't discard any cards. All right, I gain two pass tokens, and I get to take an obey. And I will have the dove charge to here. And it's going to spend its focus to punch the mannequin. Okay. Um, The mannequin will spend its focus to hopefully not get punched. That's a 12. I think... I am at a 16 total. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm at a total of a 16. Yeah, that will fail. That's fine. Get those high cards out of your deck. <laughs> um, we are going to... We're going to elect to target the Cory Fee right next to me with um, Riddles in the Dark. Yes. This is against your willpower. I have a 12. I'm at a 11, maybe? Okay, this will give you distracted. Uh, I'm at 11. Uh, I will not cheat that. Okay, go ahead and have a distracted. Shifty. And... We will go ahead and target Colette and give Colette some distracted. Um, You Uh, also have Serene Countenance, don't you? I do. I will use a leverage token to get a straight flip. And this targets willpower, correct? Sure does. I have a 15. I have an 11. I am going to cheat to a 19 and declare the information network trigger, which may either be resolved immediately or after resolving. I would elect for it to be immediately. So I'll immediately draw a card. And Clet will get distracted one? Correct. Okay. Um, So she gets a donut. One, two, three, and a bonus. That is a Yoko. And a mod. A lot of bad things on her. Mm Mm-hmm.
But she's in. Oh yeah, Colette is engaging Hinamatsu. Yes. So Hinamatsu can't really charge. She's slowed. Okay. Um. Let's go with the Mech Arachnid. Um. Mm -hmm. The Arachnid will pick up the scrap marker. Mm -hmm. Get that. Um. And then, yeah, he's going to swing at the Charm Warden. Sounds good. So this has a uh, built-in positive from the temporary limb. I got a mighty eight. I have a 13. Okay, so that'll fail, and I'll do it again. Mm -hmm. I have a 17. Woo, I have an 18. Okay, uh, that'll likewise fail. That sounds still so nope. Okay, uh, that will do it for the arachnid. Okay. Um, well, uh, that's a thing that happened. <laughs> yes, that is a thing. <laughs> I think. Let's see, Colette's willpower is crazy good, isn't it? I think she's only six. Let me look at her card. Yep, she's with power six. Hmm. Just having a quick think, y'all. All right, I think what we're going to do is Charm Water is engaged currently. I will have the Kunoichi go. Okay. I'm going to tools for the job the 13 of crows. Get rid of a tome. I have tomes baked in. Kunoichi is going to use I've got your back. Is that what it's called? Yeah, I've got your back targeting charm order. This requires a four. That is a four. I'll declare the preparations trigger to give the charm order focused and pull it into base contact. I am then going to uh, throw a shuriken at the mecha arachnid. against your defense. I have right. an eight. And I still get a positive to this. I'm at a 19. Woo! Yes, you are. Um, I am going to go ahead and shoot you a second. Uh, well, let's see. Because they're armor too, right? They are. Mm -hmm. um, you know what? I think discretion is the better part of valor here. We're going to go a one, two, three, four, five. Ah. Hang out back here. She's done. Um, I think. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, I think let's go with this dove. Mm -hmm. Um, I will look at the top card of your deck and send that to the bottom. Okay. Uh, the dove is gonna charge Yuko right there. Uh, dove or, has a zero inch engage. 
Ah, you're right. Um, the dove is actually going to charge Hinamatsu right there. Okay. Uh, she doesn't have any fancy pants. No, she, she doesn't have it. She doesn't have any fancy defensive stuff. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so targeting your defense. I got a seventeen. Um, I'll go to eighteen. Okay. Um, that was one AP from the dove. With the next AP, it's going to assist Colette, mm -hmm. and lower Colette's distracted. Okay. I'm going. That's all for the dove. Yeah, I'm going to have Bunraku down here go. Uh, Bunraku is going to. Hmm. So it appears. Like Mechanical Dove is in the way for any lure shenanigans. As far as... I don't think Yoko can get between them. Is that what, uh, what you see as well? Probably not. I mean, use the charge lane, right? That's the best way to, to gauge that. Yeah. Boop. I mean, a, a lure's a move, right? Mm-hmm. So she could move around the Korofi. That's true. You just have to end closer to the Bunkaroo than when you started. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to attempt to lure Yoko, and she will okay. relent. Uh, I would cheat for it to go off. So Yoko is going to go one, two, three, four, and five. I think I have a smidgen of a line of sight on her. That looks good. And we'll do it again. Lure on Yoko. Uh, I'll spend my focus on this. It'll go off. I will not declare the rip and tear trigger. Yoko will go one, two, three, four, five. She's activated. Uh, Bunraku will be done. We haven't heard anything from the Charm Warden yet, have we? Not yet. Not yet. Um... Oh. Okay. Um, why don't we go with the mannequin? Mm -hmm. So, let's see. Um, I need two inches for that to go. Nope. Your dog okay? Yeah, <laughs> he is just, he's a hound. So, uh, for everyone yeah. listening at home, we have a beagle greyhound mix who is very energetic. <laughs> uh, he sleeps all day and then when he's ready to be up he is up um the mannequin is going to just walk right there mm -hmm. uh then it'll attempt an emergency surgery on carlos mm -hmm. um so that doesn't go so i'm actually going to cheat in this or no i'm not going to cheat that one I cheat in the seven mm -hmm. uh, to make it go. So he's going to heal one, two, three. So he heals two. Seems good. And that's all for the mannequin. All right. Um, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to have Bill Algren go. Uh, Bill should be just in six of the Kunoichi. I think. Uh, oh, excuse yeah. me. And we're back now that all the dogs have been properly fed. Um, so Bill is intended to be within six of the Kunoichi from when she moved. Um, he is going to try and heal her. Um, stoic nod. It will go off, and he will declare Galvanize. Bunraku will gain a focus. 
Kunoichi heals two. He is then going to uh, seven inches. He's going to target Colette with challenge, and he's going to spend a pass token to get around your serene countenance. Here we go. Current. That is a 15 against willpower. Uh, I'm at an 18. I will meet you at an 18. Okay. All right, you are challenged. Um, and I would declare the trigger to give Bill focus. And Bill is going to take a walk. One, two, three, four, and five. Bill is done. Okay. Let's see. So I have to discard if I'm going to target anyone besides Bill. Correct. With an action, right? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Sorry, I'm just checking something quickly. All good. Okay, let's go with the Soulstone Miner. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Soulstone Miner is gonna go. Uh, Charm Warrior is a one-inch engagement. Yes. Is that right? That is correct. Two, three, four to here. Um, he's gonna drop a scheme marker as a bonus action. Mm-hmm there um then he's gonna charge the charm warder mm -hmm. charge right there seems good um yeah so i have a seven against your defense um i have a six it looks like uh do you want to cheat um i do not uh you don't have armor do you um, I do not. Okay. Um, so this will be flip two. Mm -hmm. uh, take moderate of three, I think. Takes three. Okay. And that's all for the minor. Okay. All right. You have Colette and Carlos and Mechanical Rider and Corey Fee and Mechanical Dove. You have a lot of people left to activate. I went with the Dove. The Dove went. Oh, I don't know why it's... It. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I think we're going to have uh, Chio activate. And Chio is just going to... Um, nah. Hmm. Just going to take a walk. One, two, three, four, five. Four, five. And she is going to target your mannequin with misinformation. This is against your willpower. 
That is a 14. Uh, I think I'm at a 12. And what's the mannequin's willpower? Uh, I'm only at an 11. I will not cheat. All right, please reveal your hand to me. I will pick two of the cards and make you discard them. Then you will draw two cards. Please discard the eight and the nine. Seems to make sense. And I draw two? Mm-hmm. It's only fair. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and... Uh, I will have Geo. Hmm. What are you going to do, Geo? I guess we're going to run away. Uh, well, she's only worth one bounty point, so. Um, I think I will charge Carlos and place in such a way that he can't move around me. Uh, I don't think there's a way for me to do that, so I will put it so I'm down on this side. And I will try and sharp wit you. Okay. And here we go. That is a six against willpower. Uh, I am at a nine. Do you care to cheat? Oh, uh, this gives I mean, me. I am six. You're at nine. I have to cheat first. Uh, this would give you slow. Okay. Um, yeah, I will cheat to a fifteen. Uh, fifteen. I'll go to a sixteen. Okay. And then uh, I will butterfly jump. Mm -hmm. one, one, two, three. That looks about right. Uh, that's a Chio done. Okay, I'm not engaging. You're one inch engagement. Yes. Okay. Um, let's go with. Let's see. Yeah, let's go with Carlos. Um. He is going to charge the Charm Warden. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go one, two, go, yeah. Land thereabouts. Mm -hmm. And I will spend a Soul Stone for a Ram in this duel. I will spend a Focus. Okay. Um, so I have a 17. I have a 19 on the red joker. Okay. Very nice. Uh, then I'll poke you again. All right. I have a 19. I have a black joker, so I'm at a five. You're at a five? Mm -hmm. Um, I'd be plus two. You have four health left. Sure do. Um... I have no chi to use. Chi. Um, you'll just die to burning, most likely. So I won't cheat that, so it'll be a positive flip, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Take week of two, and you get burning one. Um, You have one... I'm actually going to cheat that up to a severe of three. All right, I will take so one. You and you get burning and distracted. All right. And that's all for the great Carlos Vasquez. Yes. All righty. Well, I have a Hinamatsu to go. And all she's going to do when she activates is her bonus action. Because she is stunned, correct? Yes. So aggressive stance. 
Pulse three. I hit all four of those friends. Uh, need a six to go off. Goes off. So they all must take a 13 willpower door, gain distracted one. Okay. Um, so let's see. So on Colette, she passes. Uh, on the dove, the dove fails. The distracted is shifty W. Um, the mech rider should be uh, power seven. Mm -hmm. uh, the mech rider fails. And then the Corifi fails. And that's all she's going to do. Okay. I actually, I lied. I have Charm Mortar still as to go, but they're not going to do a whole heck of a lot. Okay. Um, and I have the Dove. I, or I got the Corifi, the Rider, and Colette. Yes. Um, okay. Um, do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, So Colette is going to do a false reality on the Hinamatsu. You're going to oh. discard a card to target her. Yep. Um, okay. And I'm going to kill the dove to get a crow to this. Okay. Um, you know what? I will go ahead and spend a card. pass token for a positive twist with leverage. Sure. Okay. So this uh, is resisting your willpower. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a 10. I have a 17. You have a 17, you say? Uh, let's go to an 18. Okay. Okay. Um, so your distracted is... Or no, this is false reality. This isn't distracting illusion. Ah, okay. This is different. Um, so your distracted was at 1, right? Yes. Uh, so you go 2 inches plus the twice the value of your distracted condition. So... I'm going to place you within four inches. Um, so we're going to push you there. And then you will gain slow with the uh, delay trigger. OK. OK. Um, so that's one AP from Colette. Mm -hmm. um, with Colette's next AP, she's going to do a focus. Uh, and then she's going to charge Bill. Okay. She is going to accept your challenge. Seems good. Two to there. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll hit you with a distracting illusion. I will spend my focus. Okay. Uh, I have a 12. I have a 19. Okay. So that's going to fail. Uh, then let's see. Yeah, I don't think she needs to. Um, and then with her bonus action, she'll hit you with the sword trick, and I will spend the focus. I will spend I my focus as well. Uh, oh, I got a 9. I got a 18. Okay, so that's going to fail. Uh, that's mm -hmm. all for Colette. All righty. Um, cool, we'll have a charm order to go. I will gain a chi token. Um, Charm Mortar is going to attempt its bonus action. Where are you, Charm Mortar, in the app? There you are. Um, needs a six. Uh, does not get it, and that's fine. We're going to concentrate. And we're going to spend the concentrate to try and jinx your mecha arachnid. Wait, uh, do we want to do that? Um, hmm.
What is the willpower of your soul stone miner? Oh wait, your soul stone miner has magical <laughs> training, so counter spell. Um, and I cannot assist myself because that is silly. <laughs> you can't stop, drop, and roll in Malifo. They never uh, taught you that. <laughs> well, I guess I will just. Can I see your mannequin? Um. I think I can. It looks like it, yeah. Well, I guess I'll concentrate and I'll jinx the mannequin. Okay. Uh, straight flip because of distracted. I have a 15. And this resists willpower? Willpower, yep. Uh, I think I have a 7 because I think mannequins are dumb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got a 7. All right, so that's 15 to 7. Straight goes to focus. Uh, goes to positive because of focus. Uh, you take two whole damage and gain injured. That's enough to kill. And I'll so. put the bounty onto the charm warder who will die this turn. <laughs> um, but vindication. Charm warder is done, and that is me. The board is yours. Um, we're gonna go with the mech rider. Mm -hmm. uh, the mech rider is gonna try and ride with me. I think that goes because I think all he needs, all she needs, is a five. Mm -hmm. Go. Ah, right, she needs a six. Yep. So that goes. Mm -hmm. Um. So the mech rider is gonna push. It's five inches, right? Yep. One. I got get it this way. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, then she brings the Corophy along with her. Mm-hmm. Um, then the mech rider will take a walk of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to there. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then she'll throw a spear at Yuko. All right. You are distracted. So you're on tr uh, three cards. Pick the worst. Yep. Uh, where'd my cards go? I am at a 13. I am at a 7. Mm -hmm. So that's all for the rider. Mm -hmm. um, so then let's go with the Corophy. Mm -hmm. um, the Corophy is going to take a nimble walk. Of one two, three, four, five to there. Mm -hmm. uh, let's take a focus. Mm -hmm. And then she'll charge Yuko. Sounds good. Spend there. focus to get around your distracted. You'll still be on a negative yep. because of serene countenance. Yep. Try that. I have an 11. 14. Okay. Um, so that will lower the... And then lower the distracted by one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, is that the turn? I think that's the turn. So at the end of the turn, my charm order dies. Blap. Um, because it dies, um, I think one of your models do, do let's see, public enemies. All right, if it's killed by condition, the opposing player may have one model in line of sight of the killed model gain bounty tokens as though it killed the model instead. Yeah, so I get two bounty tokens from the Charm Warden. Mm -hmm. Who do you want them on? On uh, Carlos. Okay. And there we go. Clear moved. I am not going to reveal my schemes. Uh, I don't have any to reveal either. Okay, so you score the strategy a second time. Do I with two tokens? Oh, or... I'm sorry, you don't. That's right. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, reshuffle. 
shuffle, shuffle. And going into turn four. Yep. Um, and we're ready when you are. Initiative. I, I got a two. I have a one, which goes to a three after initiative flips. You have a three. Um, I will not cheat initiative. Okay. Technically, I have to choose whether or not to cheat first because I am losing the flip. Um, oh, that's true. Um, and so because of that, I am going to be cheating in to a nine. You're at a nine? Mm -hmm. So I will go to a ten. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six models to your one, two, three four five six models i have seven you have a pass token but i do generate two pass tokens from okay. chia sounds like a plan mm -hmm. um okay did i block up my charge lane here let's check and uh, maybe Got to block that up. Um, Don't forget the charge lane function. Yeah. What's the charge lane? It's Alt. Alt C. And then you just press Alt C again to increase the size. No, because then I'm ramming into the... Well, am I hitting the Corophy there? You're not. I think you just get okay. it. Okay. Okay. Um, so then the Mech Rider is going to focus. Well, first, I'm going to look at the top card of your deck. Sure. And I'll put that on the bottom. The Mech Rider is going to focus, and then she's going to charge Yuko. Mm-hmm. Um... Mm. Where'd she go? Yep. Okay. Um, so I am hitting you with my chain spear. Sounds good. I have an 11. I have a black joker. Ooh. Uh, so that'll be a straight flip goes to a positive. Sounds right. Oh, uh, wait. Well, your total was how five. much was your total was five. Um, five. I'm going to actually cheat down to a 7. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's still a straight flip and I can draw a card. Mm -hmm. um, straight flip. Uh, so take moderate of 4 damage. That will kill Yoko. And she's worth 3 tokens, is that right? Oh, well, she's a master. So 3 tokens. All right, cool. Um, and then uh, the the rider is then going to revel in creation. That doesn't go, so here. So we're going to throw in the six of tomes to make it go. And then I need to drop four tokens to have a reactivate. So... One, two, three, four. Um, so then I drop a scheme corpse. A scheme scorks. I'll drop a scheme marker within six inches. Are you sure you don't want to drop a squorks marker? A squorks. A scheme scorks or scrocks. Uh, you can't drop scrocks, not in this game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and then I'm going to charge Hinamatsu just to there. That seems like a reasonable thing. All right. Okay. Here we um, go. Targeting your defense. I have a 15. I have an 8. I will not cheat. Um, so that'll be a straight flip, right? 
8 to 15, yeah, that's a straight. Take weak of two. Takes one from armor. Okay. Um, and I think... I don't think I picked up a card from my last Arcane Ritual, so can I do that now? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. All right, and then I'll hit you one more time. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a 10. And this is your reactivation? Yeah, this is the last AP of my reactivation. I am at a 16. Um, We're going to let that fail. Okay. So that'll do it for the rider. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How do we want to go about this? Well, I think it makes sense to me. I will have Chio activate. Chio, mostly because she's probably going to die, is going to use Biting Insult. Well, well first she's going to miss information on the Soulstone Miner. Well, or Soulstone Miner's willpower f three, yeah. Yeah. So I have, I have a six. I have a seven. Um, what does this do? You reveal your control hand, and I make you discard two cards of my choice. Then you draw Ooh. two cards. And what's the stat on this? Stat four. Stat four. Um, I will go to a six. Wait. It's a stat four. Uh, I think I'm will power three, yeah. Um, this is dumb, but I'm going to a 17. I am okay with that. <laughs> Chio is then going to biting insult the Soulstone Miner. Step five against willpower. I have a thirteen. I have a seven. Um, I will go to a thirteen. Uh, I'll let you have it. Uh, you will gain distracted, and because you haven't activated yet, I gain a pass token. Yep. Geo will declare a charge. Uh, basically, she wants to charge here so that she is engaging Soulstone Miner on my side of the board and not in Carlos's melee range. Okay. And I'm going to sharp wit your Soulstone Miner. So we'll give him slow. Mm-hmm. I have, I have a, a thir You have a 13? 13. I have a 10. You know what? I am done. The miner is unimpressed with your wit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let us go with Colette. Okay. Um, yeah, there's... Let's see. Colette will hit Bill with a distracting illusion. Okay. I have a 15. I also have a 15. Uh, do you want to cheat? I don't think so. Okay. Um, so you'll get um, a point of distracted and stunned. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Um... There's not a whole lot for Colette to do, is there? Let's do... That doesn't matter that much. Yeah, let's do a false reality on the Bunkaroo. Mm-hmm. So this is uh, targeting your willpower. I have a seven. Uh, they have pretty poor willpower of four, but I have a 12 total. Okay, so that'll fail. 
Um, and then Colette will focus. Uh, and then she will hit Bill Algren with the sword trick, and I'll spend the focus. I will flip a card. Bill has a 14. Uh, I'm at an 11. Um, what's your defense? Defense 5. Uh, I'll go to a 19. A 19. Well, I guess Bill is going to take some damage and get buried. Yeah. Um, so this will be, what was your total? 14. Uh, 14 to 19, so it'll be a straight flip with the focus. Uh, take severe 6. Uh, he will take severe 6. And goes to that. And then he's buried. Mm -hmm. Boop. That's all for Collette. Yes, indeed. Um, well, we're going to have uh, Boon Raku go. He's going to take a point of damage, gain a focus, and bravely run away. <laughs> uh, we're going to take an action. And what do you have that can destroy scheme markers at range? I don't think I have anything that can take out scheme markers at range. All right, so I'm going to drop a scheme marker right here. Um, Bunraku is then going to who, uh, attempt to lure Hinamatsu, who will relent. Um, goes off. Do, 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 to there. Uh, the Bunraku will be done. Okay. So you just have the Konichi left, right? And Bill and Hinamatsu. Oh, and Bill, but Bill is... Bill is... Uh, oh, hey, you got Hin Hinamatsu. Bill is uh, taking a dirt nap right now. Um, Great. Uh, can the Korfi get through there? Let's see. Yeah, she can always just nimble around, too. Okay, mm -hmm. so... I'll go with the Corifi. Uh, so the Corifi is going to go one, two, three, four. Uh, uh, yeah, do five as a nimble. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's going to focus charge Hinamatsu. Okay. And we'll charge right there okay See the um guy. and then i'll spend the focus and lower my distracted okay uh I, that's a 17. um hinamatsu is at an eight currently let me look at your triggers real quick i will not cheat okay um so 17 to 8 mm -hmm. would normally be a straight goes to a positive with a focus yep. no damage womp, womp. uh that's all for the core fee. okay i am going to um unbear i'm going to activate bill algren according to colette's berry effect uh when he's at start of his next activation, he unburies within two inches of an enemy scheme marker. It's always from your perspective, so you have to unbury him within two inches of my scheme marker right here. So, um, just at the very bottom of the circle. Okay. So we'll like do it there. Yep, that's perfect. Okay. Well, Bill <laughs> is going to take a walk. Now Bill's mad. Two, three, four, five, and he's going to. Uh, stoically nod at the Kunoichi. And it will go off. Kunoichi will heal. Um, one is fine. Doop. And Bill is done. Uh, let's go with the Arachnid. Mm hmm. Uh, he will suck up that scrap marker, and then he's going to charge Chio. Mm -hmm. So, resisting your defense, you I have a 16. You charge Chio, she is disguised. Ah, okay, then I'll just walk Chop. Okay. 
Uh, Chio is at a 10. Uh, do you want to cheat? What is your total? 16. 16. I do not want to cheat. Okay. How much health does she have? Four. Four health mm -hmm. and no defensive nonsense? Nope. Uh, your total is how much again? Was I have a 14. You have... Oh, you're at a 14 total. I'm sorry. No, I, I have a 4 defense. I have flipped a 6. I have a 10. You have a 10? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to cheat to a 12 with the Onslaught trigger. Okay. So uh, this will be a negative to damage. Uh, take week of 2. Did you focus? No. Okay. Oh, you just walk charge. That's right. Um, yeah. And your bonus with the cra scraps is because of uh, just the attack flip, right? Yep. Okay. Additional limb. Okay. All right. Um, and then onslaught attack. I have a night or an eighteen, rather. Yes, you do. I will not cheat. Uh, I am at a twelve. Uh, eleven. Eleven is the number. Straight flip will be another two damage. All right. Um, she is dead. Blap. She is worth one bounty point. That's off for the arachnid. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, you have a Carlos and you have a Soulstone Miner. That is correct. I think I am going to Uh, we will have the Kunoichi go. She's going to draw this card and discard this card to get tomes built in on everything. She's going to take a walk. Do, do like that. She's going to target Hinamatsu with I've Got Your Back, needing a four. Chitsu goes off. I save a Hinamatsu and declare the trigger to give her a focus. And then the Kunoichi is going to concentrate herself. She's done. And she has, uh, what was it, tomes on everything. I just have Hinamatsu. Hina All right. Um... I'm going to go with Carlos. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Hinamatsu's got slow, right? Yeah, I'm still going to go with does. Carlos. Mm -hmm. um, Carlos is going to do some fancy footwork here. So he's going to take a walk of one, two, three, four, five, six to there. Mm -hmm. um, he's going to take another walk. One, two, three, four to there. Mm hmm. Uh, let's check here. Carlos is going to play a game of which scheme did Joel take? And then he's going to try to uh, get a pyre marker. Um, oh, and I have to stone for a mask on that. I'm okay. remembering now. Mm -hmm. Or stone for a tome, rather. Mm -hmm. So I stone for a tome, and that goes. I get a pyre marker anywhere within range so we will put the pyre marker if it's create if it's created it can overlap the corpse right um let's find out that i have been uh, uh pardon the pun burned by the um the rules of this before <laughs> <laughs> okay so the pyre is going to go there, pending it can go on top of the corpse marker. Mm -hmm. um, do, 
All right, if a marker is created, it is treated as dropped with the additional following rules. Created markers can overlap non-impassable terrain, but they cannot overlap other markers. Okay, so it can't go on top of the corpse marker. Created markers um, cannot be put into base contact with any models except for the model creating them. So then the pyre marker will go right there. And that's all for Carlos. Okay. Well, let's see. Minor Soulstone Miner has armor one, correct? Yeah. They got hit with the nerf bat. And Mecha Arachnid is worth two points, right? He, he's only cost six. He's cost six, so. he's worth two victory points. So he's worth two, yep. Uh, actually, let me make sure I'm not speaking wrong. No, he's worth one point because he's six points. It's seven costs that is worth um, two vic two kill points. Okay. So actually, all of my guy, all my minions are one point. Um, okay. So uh, that would have been that would have mattered earlier. I think you got the first point from killing a Bunraku. Um, I think I did too. Um, but uh, eh. Water under the bridge. Um, I do think I need to try and stop whatever your soulstone miner is trying to do. <laughs> but your mecha arachnid is a pain in the butt. He's been the MVP so far. Mm -hmm. So Hinamatsu is going to declare a charge. One, two, three, four, five, six seven because she has a uh what's that called rush rush and she's going to spend a focus lower focus and lower distracted uh to punch the mech arachnid with her still positive twist okay um she is currently at a 18. i'm at a 13 and i will not cheat okay I am going to cheat in the tome and declare the trigger uh, armor piercing. Okay. So negative goes to straight flip for focus. Uh, severe. Is enough to kill the mm -hmm. mecharachnid. Hinamatsu <laughs> has a point. I've got points on the board. And... Do you have you have the soulstone miner left, right? Yes. Okay. Um, well, I think I might as well discard a card. Mm. You know what? I am not going to flurry, but I will do my bonus action. It will not go off. Hinamatsu is done. And um. The Soulstone Miner will mine a Soulstone. Or does she have armor? She does have armor. He will not mine a Soulstone. Mm -hmm. um, he is going to drill into Hinamatsu. Uh, but first, okay, he's going to focus drill into Hinamatsu and then lower his focus to get around to Distracted. Sounds good. Should control. Okay, um, so one card. I got a nine. I have a 16. You know, 16, so that'll fail. Um, and then with his bonus action, he will attempt to go to ground. And he does go to ground. Okay. Okay. Uh, is that the turn? I think that's the turn. Um, at the end of the turn, I do not reveal any schemes. I will remove my... I will remove no points. I will not score anything. Um... Carlos will select Hinamatsu to get it distracted. Mm -hmm. And then I will reveal research mission. Okay. Uh, you revealed a scheme. Bill will heal three and gain fast. Oh. The fix is in. Um, and then I have to discard all my bounty tokens, right? Um, uh, all off of any models you choose. Ah, okay, so... To get the strap point, you'd have to do, remove all three, yeah. But the the rider has three from killing Yuko, right? Yes, so you can do the yeah. rider or the other two. 
Well, the arachnid's dead, so I have to do the rider. <laughs> All right, there you go. Okay. Um, um, so, yeah. So, I'll get one. So, that was turn four, right? Mm hmm. And we're going into turn five. Clear moved. Uh, Kunuichi will take a damage. Uh, all right. So, last turn. Mm hmm. Reshuffle it up. Two. Three, five. Um, I have I have one soul stone left. I will not soul stone for cards. Okay. Neither will I. Um, I have plus three to this initiative flip. I have a nine. I have a nine as well. Um, so we are tied. Um, you can do you choose to cheat I will not cheat I will not either I will take the first activation or yeah I'll take first activation what can I do how many stones is Carlos Carlos is eight soul stones okay so Carlos would be worth two points if I could get him, which with a Hinamatsu, I just might, even though you do have Butterfly Jump. Realistically, I either have to kill Carlos or your Mechanical Rider. And of the two, I think Carlos is the more likely kill. Carlos is probably easier to kill, yeah. Um, so, I think what we will do <laughs> is... Let's see. Research mission. Your friendly models have to be near different types of markers on the enemy table half. Um, well, let's see here. I think one, two, three, four. You have well, real quick. You have one, two, three, four, five models with your Soulstone Miner. I have one, two, three, four models with mine. Uh, but I have one, two, three, four leverage. So I will have a total of five pass tokens. <laughs> um. Good googly moogly. Um, I'm sorry, everyone at home and my opponent now. I am being a terrible... Um, I'm doing a terrible job here of figuring out what I want to do. Calculate the possibilities. I am, I am bigging. Uh, my, my brain is getting all Brennan. Um, I think what we're going to do is. You know what? We're going to risk it for the biscuit. You may activate first. Okay. Um, let's see. So you should have no pass tokens now. No. Okay. I think we best go with Colette. Mm -hmm. So Colette is going to charge the Bunkaroo. So we're yep so we'll charge there um okay uh then this targets your willpower i have a 15 i have not a 15 i have a 
blah, 13. Um, do you wish to cheat? Nah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Does the bunker have armor? They do. They have armor one. They have armor one. Okay. Um, so that's going to go. So you gain stunned and distracted. All right. Okay. Um, and then Colette is going to focus. Shifty Q. Um, and then she's going to try the sword trick on the bunker roo, spending the focus. I will spend focus as well. I have a 16. I have a 14. Uh, do you wish to cheat? Nah. Okay. Um, so straight flip the damage? Mm hmm. Uh, that's a severe six. All right, that will kill. Um, and then Colette's next tr last trick is going to be to presto changeo a Bill Algren into herself. Um, and I'm going to spend a soul stone for a mask to this. Okay. Um, so this is targeting your willpower. I have a nine. I have an 18. Um, I'm going to tie you at 18. Okay. If I can get the card out of there. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're going to let it go? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so I drop a scheme marker. I change into Bill Algren. Or wait, I got to do this the other order. Bill's going to go there. Change into a scheme marker. Mm -hmm. That's all for Colette. Okay. I will spend a pass token. Oh, will I? Hmm. I think... You have a three revealed in your hand, by the way, of tones. Oh. Hmm. So I think what we will do is have... And don't forget to give yourself a bounty token on Colette. I think yeah I'm gonna have the Kunoichi go I'm gonna draw this 12 into my hand I'm gonna discard this two of masks um, what is Colette's defense she is defense five. Five? Okay. Well, I am going to spend a focus and try and punch you with okay. uh, my tomes baked in, or my masks baked in, excuse me. Uh, exotic weapons. Straight flip. I have a I have a, I have a seven. Uh, let me check to see what this does first. Two, three, four damage. I have a. I'm showing the reposition trigger that I baked in. I can go with no witnesses for bonus damage, or I can go with unexpected ferocity to do damage equal to your distracted. Um, I'm not going to cheat it, so I'm sitting at a seven. Are you going to declare your defensive trigger? I am not. Okay, so I am at a um, 13. I will reposition. I'll go 
Oh, let me do the damage first. Straight flip for damage. That's currently weak. Um, I will cheat, go to four. I'll go one, two, three. And Kunoichi is going to punch you again. Um, okay. I will spend a pass token for leverage. I got a 12. I am currently at an 8. I will... Um, I will match you on a 12. Um, I'll go to a 13. Okay. Um, Kunoichi will be done. Uh, she has a bonus action, but I'm not going to bother with it. Okay. Um, okay. So let's go with the Korafi. Um, I think the Korafi is just going to punch Bill. Sounds reasonable. Sure. Oh, Bill's fast, isn't he? He is. Okay, yeah. Um, he's willpower five? He's willpower six. Willpower six. Nice. All right, I'm just going to punch Bill. All right, Bill has uh, a nine defense right now. I'm at an 11. All right, you're on eggs. I will not cheat. Um, so I will cheat. Or, no, I won't do that. Wait, do I want to do that? Yeah, probably. Okay. Um, so you, mm -hmm. I'm on a negative flip, and I'll declare the beautiful close trigger to give you distracted. Mm -hmm. uh, no damage, want, want. but you still take it distracted. Yeah. Um, and then with my last AP, I will do a dazzling flourish on Bill. Okay. I have an 11 against your willpower. 14. 14, huh? Mm -hmm. Um, well. See what you got. I'll go to a 17. And Dazzling Flourish gives me slow? That's correct. Mm. I am slow. Okay. And that does it for the core fee. Okay. Um, I think I will spend a pass token. Fair enough. Um, I will go with the mech rider. The mech rider is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then she's going to go two, three, four to there. Mm -hmm. Um, she is then going to attempt to revel in creation. Let's see if I can. She will attempt to revel in creation. Um, that goes, and then I'm going to discard four tokens to get the insight trigger. Uh, make so sure you she's... get the tokens, not the poison. Ah, uh, yeah. Oops. Darn it. Um, so then I'm going to get a scrap marker. Put it right there. Um, and then I basically shuffle any number of cards in my discard pile back into my deck. So I'm going to basically just pull all the severes out of here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> shuffle, right? Mm -hmm. Ah, that worked. Perfect. And that's all for the rider. All right. Now your rider is at full wounds, don't forget. Yeah. Um Let's see here. I will spend a pass token as well huh righty then uh let's see yeah 
So we'll go with Carlos. Mm -hmm. Um, and he's just going to breathe fire on Hinamatsu. Okay. Because why not? Um, She's at eight. I'm at 19. Yes, you are. Uh, do you want to cheat? I do not. So that's flip two? Uh, no, it's a straight flip. Straight flip? Okay. Um, Take moderate a three. Takes one after armor. Gains a burning, yeah. Yes, and a burning. Um, Then I'll breathe fire on you again. Okay. I got a 15. Uh, she has a 16. Uh, so that's going to fail, Um, and that's all for Carlos. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and spend our last pass token. I don't have any. Oh, I still have my, uh, yeah, I still have my soul stone line. Second to last pass token. Yeah. Okay. Um... Who do you who you still have to go with? Bill and Hinamatsu. Bill and Hinamatsu, great. Um, okay, so the Soulstone Miner will just pop up here, um, and it won't gain stunned or any of that nonsense. Um, and then I will check one thing on Bill. Um. I will drill into Hinamatsu. Okay. I got a 19. I have a 10. Uh, do you want to cheat? I do not. I can't. You flipped the red trigger. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I will declare the armor piercing trigger. Mm -hmm. um, so that's going to be weak, but I'm going to cheat up to moderate. So I think that's three damage. She takes three. Double check if it's three or four. Miner's moderate. Yep, three damage. Um, well, I'll hit you one more time. I have a six. Uh, I have a fourteen. Okay, uh, that's all for the miner. Okay. Well, I will go ahead with my stuff now. Um, uh, hmm. I think. Hmm. I'm just trying to see if there's actually a way for me to deny you your scheme. Uh, so the Kunoichi went, right? Uh, she did. And Bill's... So Bill's... Uh, what's Bill's damage track? He's a 3-4-4. And with one critical strike. So he can't kill Colette. Mm -hmm. um, well, the thing is, if Colette... It's not a matter of killing. Even if I charge you and you decide to do your defensive trigger to bury... Um, let, me, let me just do this. Uh, Hinamatsu will go. Hinamatsu is going to lure the Kunoichi. Okay. The Kunoichi relents. It'll go off. to there and Hinamatsu is going to um, go ahead and attack the soulstone miner she'll spend a pass token to get around the distracted for a straight flip okay. I have a 9 currently have a 13 oh, I'm um, sorry, I, I, will have not. A, I have another positive because I have a built in positive I will still keep the uh 13. So I'm at a 9 and I won't cheat. Uh, 9 and you won't cheat. Um, I will um, risk it. I will cheat for armor piercing on a straight flip. Okay. Uh, that's weak. Take 2, ignoring your armor. I have to discard a card to declare trigger against you. And oh yeah, because I counterspell. Oh, he's got a shield it, so he takes one less. Oh, yeah. All right, then I'm not going to bother with Flurry. Um, that'll be Hinamatsu. Um, Bill is going to activate um, and 
I am going to... <clears throat> uh, Corey, if you have armor too, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, there's no point in that. Uh, so I'm just going to say that's game. Okay. Um, at the end of the turn, I will reveal the end of game claim jump on the Kunuichi. Uh -huh. Because she is at half wounds even after the burning, and she's within two of the center line. Ah, yes. Um, I will reveal uh, Let Them Bleed for the end game point. Mm -hmm. I will reveal I had Let Them Bleed, but you have multiple models with uh, full wounds. Um, and then I'll get my last uh, research mission point. Yeah, you'll get double research, one let them bleed, and I think you'll have enough points to get the... Will you get the public enemies this turn? No, I don't think you will. I don't think so, because I only have two tokens on Carlos and one on Colette. Mm -hmm. And I need six to score, right? Uh, uh, you just need four to score. Because uh, it's two, then three, then four, then five. But I have two points already, so I'd need five, right? Well, it's t it's the amount you scored plus two. Ah, okay. Yeah, so I need four. Okay. But yeah, you're you're one off either way. So a five-one victory for Colette. So good game, man. Well played. Yeah, good game. Um, so we can do a little bit of debrief if that's okay with you. Yeah, sure. Um, so uh, when. So, in the pool, when you saw the pool and you saw Ten Thunders, what made you pick Colette? Um, I picked Colette because Colette is pretty good at public enemies, actually. It was less... To, I usually... I mean, I pick a little bit around opposing faction, but not always. Um, the dangerous thing about Colette and the Ten Thunders is if you take Masked Agent, that mm -hmm. is very bad for Colette. <laughs> yes. Um... But it just means I ha I have to play a little less aggressive with her. I can I can play around it. So I kind of thought about Masked Agent, but figured, well, if he pulls out Masked Agent, I can play around it. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Um, as a real quick thing, I don't know if I've told you what my format is, uh, but I am currently uh, putting Yoko through 12 games just to figure out how her keyword works. This is game one. And okay. <laughs> for the first four games, I'm restricting my hiring to purely in keyword and no upgrades. Sure. Just to see how they operate without upgrades. Absolutely. Um, Ten Thunders has some really good upgrades, especially into Colette. And I would take uh, turning off your defensive trigger 100%. Um, mm -hmm. The idea of Hinamatsu going in on you with no defensive trigger triggers makes me happy. Um, sure. Uh, that said, uh, valid point, um, when you saw Yoko, uh, did that impact your hiring or scheme selection in any way? Or I guess, uh, did that impact your hiring in any way? Uh, not really. I don't think, by herself, Yoko doesn't have anything that I think I have to tech against or play around. I mean, there's no, there's no terrifying in the keyword. There's no, um, condition they don't hand out conditions offensively so much. I guess you do have a lot of distracted, but distracted is kind of easy to play around because I tend to focus a lot anyway. Mm -hmm. But there's no burning or poison such that I'd want to bring along an effigy, for example. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the Mechorachnid was kind of a tech pick just because it's the ability to ignore armor is really nice. Yeah. And... Yeah. Uh, Ten Thunders have a lot of good armored stuff. Mm -hmm. So the, the Mecha Racted was a bit of a pick against tech, Ten Thunders. Um, That's fair. Um, so then I guess going into your scheme selection, um, uh, I mean, you scored pretty well on it. Would you change anything about the schemes you selected? Uh, let's see. Um... I don't think so. I mean, Carlos gives me the third marker for research mission, mm -hmm. and 
he's a pretty fun model to play with anyway. So I did sort of take Carlos to do research mission. Um, let them bleed in public enemies just makes sense to me because you're going to be swinging on models anyway. Mm-hmm. So you might as well score points for it. I thought about taking claim jump um, because, again, Carlos is a pretty good claim jump target. Mm-hmm. But um, I don't know. Claim jump I just don't have great luck with in general. Uh, it's 50-50 for me. Um, yeah. Like, the reason I... I mean, I agree with you. I took Let Them Bleed because it fits the strategy very nicely. Um, I think here, because my crew pushed hard right into where all of your big beaters were, um, Claim Jump was less of a good pick. But it's probably the best pick out of them, except for maybe Sabotage. Problem is, if I tried to Sabotage with, like, a Bunraku... I think your soul stone miner would have just eaten my Bunraku and I'd be out two points. Um, yeah, sabotage is, is a tough one. I mean, this is kind of an interesting map, and I actually thought about sabotage. Well, once once you gave me the top right, I, I took sabotage out because these uh, bushes would actually make decent sabotage targets because they're mm-hmm. dense. Mm-hmm. So you can just sort of, you know, you know, if you put a token here, it's going to be really hard to get to line of sight from that. Yeah. Um, unless you have a lot of stuff with flying or unimpeded. Yeah, and you have a bunch of unimpeded or very <laughs> mobile pieces. So I was like, I mean, that's why I took the Bunraku. I was like, I could probably go for one of the scheme marker ones. Um, and then I saw mm-hmm. your crew and I said, well, no, I can't. Um, yeah. I have to say, the whole um, replace mechanic causing your Corifi duet to be worth two points at most. Um, for bounty is incredibly strong for Colette, and yeah, I think you did a good job of giving me very poor return on investment for my killing. Like a bunch of st- everything you had really had armor, and I don't have the most killiness in my crew. Mm-hmm. So you did a good job as far as like playing to the strategy there. Yeah, um, and Carlos was Carlos was kind of the. He was a little bit risky in that sense because he's not that defensive Mm -hmm. and he's worth a lot of points. But at the same time, the way to play Carlos is to have him move on the the edges like that away from any away from the main fight so he can kind of do his thing. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think he did pretty well this game. He he killed a Bunkaroo, didn't he? He did. Uh, He did. Well, uh, the spider killed it, but yeah, the spider I mean, killed him. He also threw Kunoichi onto half wounds, and admittedly, um, that's one of the things I, I shouldn't have put Claim Jump on the Kunoichi, just because they are relatively easy to put wounds on. My mm-hmm. intent was, because she'd be sitting back, that I could like clear out the front line and then run her in near sure. the, like the end of a turn. Um to do it over, it probably would make sense to put it on someone like Chio, but at the same time, Chio dies to a stiff breeze. I don't know. Yeah, I'd almost be tempted to put it on Bill, just because Bill is big and beefy, he, and nobody wants to go near him. He is, but he's also one of my most mobile offensive pieces. And yeah. That was another thing I did wrong. I should not have... By putting him back as far as I did, he wasn't able to get into the fight early enough. Um, I probably, yeah i probably could have afforded to just um do the bunraku lure trick on him instead of yoko um, yeah I, I still like having him use his stoic nod turn one to heal up uh hinamatsu as i branch out of keyword i'm probably going to replace that role with a tanuki for heals um, sure or a sun quang or kang or however you say ah. Uh, but yeah, I do think Bill is a necessary component in this matchup. I think Corner also hurt me. You did a big favor for me pulling Yoko into your crew so she could do her stuff. <laughs> Admittedly, well, your crew was better adept, better equipped to deal with it than I'm used to on the math of it. You know, on the math of it, Yoko can easily drop you from five cards to three cards with her first um, shady dealings thing. And then if she blackmails a pri- a quality target, 
you're reliably putting your opponent to one card in hand and you've drawn four cards. Yeah. Um, that didn't happen here because your doves gave you the cards turn one and two to make up the loss. And <laughs> my hand was also so bad each turn that <laughs> turn one and two, I turn one, I had three severes in hand and then turn two and three, I didn't draw severe. So I was like, well, I'll throw away aces mm -hmm. for Yuko. <laughs> yeah. and, and that is, I think a valid point. And it's a, it's a design thing that I think, um, I have no illusions about who's going to watch this. This is a vanity project. But if by <laughs> chance any of the weird developers watch this, please understand when you have either or uh, mechanics like that, your opponent is going to choose the best one for them. So please consider making both options. <laughs> Excuse you, Hopper. Uh, my, my dog is sneezing, everybody. Um, uh, but TLDR, I get or rather... Let's rewind that. If you're going to play a master that does soft control like Yoko, know that if you don't force your opponent to make a hard choice, they will make the easy choice. Kind of an obvious statement, but the number of times you gave me pass tokens was great. I could have some positive twists. But if I needed those cards, I didn't have a good way to really force it in this game. Mm -hmm. Um I do think if I if we were to do this again, you know, I I was considering upgrading the Charm Warder into a Kabuki Warrior. Um, I took the Charm Warder because I expected armor, and they have a irreducible trigger on their. Yes, yeah, I, I was surprised you didn't use that against the Mecharachnid. So it does require a suit that's not built in, mm -hmm. and I never had the appropriate. I don't recall having the appropriate card. You didn't have the RAM? Yeah, a high enough RAM to secure the hit. Okay. Um, that said, um, I have I do like what the Charm Order brings. I like I like the crew overall is what I brought. Um, it's just that's the only thing I could see twitch, uh, changing because then I don't require a suit to do just raw but ton of damage and the kabuki warriors and uh, is tough enough that it could also be a viable claim jump target mm -hmm. um so i don't know uh, but it was a good game all the same um did you have any shout outs you'd like to give before we call it uh i don't think so i don't have a podcast or anything i'm just maybe a local um, meta well i'm from chicago um we had a we had a good group um, get together for a long time. If any of your listeners are in the Chicago area, we have a Google group that isn't so active after the COVID stuff. Mm. But um, if they are in the Chicago area, know that there are people playing. Um, I think most of us have kind of retreated. Uh, at least one other guy is on Vassal. But um, once things get back to normal, uh, we play at Games Plus in uh, Mount Prospect, Illinois. Okay. So yeah, if you if you guys are in the Chicago area, uh, check out check out, check them out. Um, and I I'll throw a, th a link to the store and uh, to Joel's Discord uh, group. Do you have a Discord group or a Facebook group for them? We don't. We're we're kind of old school. We just have a Google group. Um, if they are interested, the best thing to do would be to um, get in contact with me on Discord. Me or Landon. Um, I'll give you the. I'll have um, I'll give you my Discord name and you can put it in the the notes for the video. Cool. Um, and shout out to Grand Rapids Meta if they're listening. I haven't got a chance to play them yet. the The one tournament I was going to go to in Grand Rapids got canceled right when COVID Ugh. happened. But um, those guys uh, they seem to have a good group out there, and it's it's glad I'm happy to see people in my old stomping ground. Yeah. One day, one day we will have in person games again. And it'll be glorious. Yes, one day. Well, if you find yourself on the uh, in the Maryland area anytime soon, send me a message. We'll we'll have to meet up and do a IRL game. Yeah, sure. I'll um again once things get back to normal. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, sir, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye. Yep.